Hello, this is Dr. Ben Ben. I'm a board certified dermatologist. Welcome to another educational video uh, from our website, SantaMonicaSkin.com. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit more about Botox. So, Botox is made uh, from a chemical known as Ona Botulism Toxin. Uh, this chemical is um, mixed with bacteriostatic sterile saline in our clinic and then it is injected directly into the muscles. By being injected into the muscles, it actually prevents the communications of one muscle to another muscle. As a result, it prevents the muscle from becoming active. By preventing the muscle from becoming active, you prevent the frown lines that people typically have on their forehead, basically frown area, as well as uh, the corners of the eyes. One common question that I typically get is, is it, is it painful to inject Botox? Well, we use the smallest syringe possible, and I inject very, very slowly in order to minimize the pain. Also, we typically put topical numbing creams uh, on the area uh, so that it numbs and thinens the skin, and then we inject the Botox. Right after Botox, we put an ice on it in order to reduce the risk of bruising and also it just is soothing so it makes the area hurt less. Another common question is that does Botox hurt like 10 full hours after I inject it? Typically not. The pain is just, it's just a very small amount of pain as we're injecting the Botox. Most patients do not have any pain hours after the Botox injection. When we do inject the Botox, we have to inject the fluid basically in the area. So the area is going to become, have a small bump, red and swollen, for about an hour or two. And then basically that will go away uh, within a few hours after injection. Um, my patients also ask me, Doc, what are the most common side effects of Botox? Well, I always tell them, there could be some you know, pain as we inject the Botox, but I'm very gentle so the pain is minimized. Also, uh, the most common actually side effect is bruising. Some patients could bruise. The bruising typically really depends on how sensitive you are to bruising, but also it depends on what you had, what you've eaten over the last couple of days. For example, garlic, omega-3, as well as like alcohol, or taking aspirin or ibuprofen or any other blood thinners could certainly thin out your blood. And these things could increase your risk of bruising. Uh, typically, I tell my patients to take Arnica. Uh, they could buy from Whole Foods uh, and take it. You know, take the Arnica five pellets, three four times a day, a couple days prior to the procedure, and continue to take it for about five days after the procedure. This will reduce basically the risk of bruising. Again, this is Dr. Ben Benham. Thank you so much for watching our educational video. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website, SantaMonicaSkin.com. Have a beautiful day.